Good morning everyone from Grace Community Church here in Edenbridge. You're very welcome, so glad you can join us from wherever you are. And uh, it's great to be able to gather together in this way, uh, worshipping God in the name of Jesus, coming to him in faith and worship and giving honour and glory and praise to his name. Thank you to Floor who's leading us in worship today. And then we're going to hear our friend Trevor Payne uh, sharing from God's word with us from Mark's gospel about what it means to be a disciple of Jesus and I know that will be stirring and encouraging for us. Thank you so much Trevor for being with us in this way. We're looking forward to hearing what you've got to say uh, amongst us. I hope you're coming with some faith and some expectation of what God is doing in your life and will do in your life and amongst us as a community of believers. I was stirred yet again from those wonderful chapters in Ephesians and I just want to bring you a few verses to help us focus and remind us of some things. So from Ephesians chapter 2 it says this in verse 4, but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our trespasses made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Do you know that you are chosen because of the love of God, the love of God the Father. You're chosen through his grace and by faith we come to him and he's got good plans and works prepared for us. So come with an expectation that God is going to do new things, uh, faith building things in our lives and lead us and guide us onwards. Let me just pray as we set out uh, to worship and hear God's word together. Father, thank you for being with us. Thank you for sending your son Jesus. And I do pray now that Holy Spirit, you will come amongst us and stir us and minister to us. Lord, we want to give you all the worship and praise and glory that is due to your name. But we also want to meet with you as we worship, we want to meet with you as we hear your word. And I pray your word will bear fruit in our lives to your glory. Lead us on in the works that you have prepared for us, I ask in your name. Lord Jesus, please be with us. Amen. Thank you. And I'll hand over to Floor now, who will be leading us in worship.
a glorious day, what a glorious way that you have saved me. Oh, what a glorious day, what a glorious. Sing a little louder. 
to know